going on, y'all? Today we are talking about the underhyped new signing that I am really a fan of with Carlos Hyde finally coming to Seattle. I'm really excited about this. We'll get into it in a minute. First, I want you to comment down below what you made of this signing. How does it impact Seattle this upcoming season? Uh, did you see it coming? I don't think many of us saw this coming, uh, except for maybe over the past couple of days. But I, I really like the signing. What did you think of the signing? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, like and subscribe as well. Turn on that notification bell. Uh, we upload daily videos. Okay, so let's get into it. First of all, Carlos Hyde to me is it has always been a shifty, explosive. Uh, he can he can get up to a very high speed. He can catch the ball, uh, but he's not afraid of contact. He looks for contact. I remember uh, th there was a play when he was uh, playing for San Francisco. I think they were playing Arizona, and he had an opportunity. He ran down the sideline a whole uh, like 30, 40 yards, and then at the end of the run, there were two DBs, and he could run out of bounds or run through two DBs, and he barreled them both, knocked them both on the ground, uh, and then fell on top of them. Just an incredible play by Carlos Hyde. That is the type of runner that I want to see in Seattle. I remember Carlos Hyde was devastating to Seattle in Seattle playing for San Francisco. And I don't care if he played for Jacksonville, uh, Kansas City, and Cleveland, and Houston in between. In my opinion, we're taking him from San Francisco, and I love that. Carlos Hyde, uh, taking him from San Francisco just feels so good. We're going to use him against him. Uh, he's coming off the best year in his, his career. He had 1,070 yards on the ground, six touchdowns. While that's not the most touchdowns in his career, he had the most plays of 20-plus yards with eight of his career, and that's really good uh, to look forward to in, in Seattle. He also had a 22% uh, first down percentage on his play, so he gets, uh, he gets the sticks. Uh, that's a high percentage of his career uh, right around uh, pretty much matching the time when he was in San Francisco the one problem I do see with him is he's coming off a year where he had four fumbles uh, that's something that he's gonna have to work on we've had fumble problems in Seattle uh, you know how we get when you turn the ball over if he starts fumbling the ball this year which hopefully he doesn't uh, there's a good chance other guys are gonna get touches uh, uh, a lot more, even though they already are going to get touches, right? Uh, Carson and w whenever Rashad Penny comes back, Travis Homer, DJ Dallas, we have a pretty big running back group. And so let, let's talk about that now as well, because a lot of people are talking about bringing in beast mode. I wasn't a big fan of the beast mode move because I said we need uh, somebody the opposite, somebody that we can trust to be there all season and to play for us. Then we went out and drafted DJ Dallas out of Miami. I like this guy. I don't love him, but I really like him. He's speedy. He, he's kind of like a Carlos Hyde, uh, in my opinion. He, it, except much more raw, much more undeveloped. He's going to spend some time on special teams, in my opinion. I could see him returning kicks. He did so down at Miami. And uh, he's a gadget guy. He We might use him in some wildcat, potentially, if we ever pull that out. And we could use him for, like, halfback passes, kind of, because he's played some quarterback, played wide receiver, played running back. So DJ Dallas, that's a gadget guy that I could see he's using. But I still think we needed one more piece. I, I was looking around. I really like the idea of Devontae Freeman, but he's, uh, he was being stuck up. He didn't want to settle for the money. And uh, he, he's injury prone. He, he disappears sometimes throughout the year, and we need somebody that's going to be as stable as possible. That's why Carlos Hyde is such a great move for us. Uh, I believe he played 16 games last year, which is just really good for a running back. And the fact that he's coming into Seattle where we already have so many backs. Chris Carson is still going to be our number one. But I see Carlos Hyde coming in. I, I see him getting 600 to 800 yards somewhere in there. I see him eating on the ground. Uh, I, I, I see him playing a big role for us as we start to wean away from Carson. Uh, I, I hope Carson uh, can stay in Seattle on, on a cheap contract. I I I hope he doesn't expect top dollar after next year because that's not something that Seattle is going to afford to do for him. Uh, but Carlos Hyde this year is going to have an impact. We we love the one, two, even three punch at the running back position. Now we have Carlos Hyde with Chris Carson and whenever Rashad Penny comes back, I think Hyde has a huge impact until then. I, I think Hyde loves to play against San Francisco uh, and I can't wait to see him play against San Francisco. Hopefully that'll become a thing. <laughs> As always, like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Let me know what you guys make of the signing. I think it could potentially change games for us down the stretch of the season. I think this is like a uh, uh, similar concept, but even more uh, 
beneficial towards Seattle than adding Josh Gordon was late in the year last year. We saw the impact that it had in a certain game at San Francisco. Uh, and just by adding him, he made a couple plays on third down that kept us alive in that game. Huge game. We gave San Francisco their first loss on the road, overtime, Monday Night Football. Uh, went down to the wire, almost had a tie. And uh, we were able to win that game because of a couple of crucial plays by a player we added halfway through the year. Well, Carlos Hyde is a guy that's going to make impact plays like that more readily. We're getting him before the season, before training camp. He's going to have an opportunity to build with us. He has the right mentality. He wants to play football. I love to see it. As always, go Hawks.